My name is Ethan Ortiz. I'm a cybersecurity professional at HearYouCo. In this video, I'll go over how to request group-related information from the Symantec Endpoint Protection 14 management server using the REST API. I'll cover the requests to retrieve all the groups, create a new group under an existing group, and how to delete a group. I'll start with creating an API request that retrieves all the groups in the SEP14 manager. I'll bring up the apidocs.semantic.com website again and find the command for listing the groups. I copy the link to paste into my get groups postman query. I select set 14 collection and right click to add a request. I name the request get groups. I then select the request. I select set 14 environment so our requests take advantage of the variables in there. I'll change the URL to leverage our set 14 Postman environment variable named server. I go up to headers and type authorization in the key field and bearer space open braces auth underscore token close braces. This will dynamically populate from the Postman SEP14 environment. Before I send the get groups request, I have to send the authenticate request in order to set the auth underscore token. I resend the get groups request. I also add a header for content type and I make it equal to application forward slash JSON. I take a look at the response and see that I did receive the list of all groups. I copy the ID for the Japan group because I'll be using it in the next request I build. Now I'll go back to the SEP14 Postman environment and add the group ID variable. What if I don't want the entire list of groups? What if I just want details on one specific group? Well, that's our next query. Now, I'll create the request to retrieve details for one specific group. I'll start by duplicating the previous command and giving it a new name. I'll give it the name get groups details. Let's take a look at the API docs.samanda.com reference. This query requires I edit the URL and pass a group ID. So I'll use the Postman syntax to add the open braces, group ID, close braces. I'll execute the request to see what we get back as a response. If I want to keep a copy of the response, I can save it by clicking Save Response. That covers listing a specific group's information. I'll now show how to add a group under an existing group. In this step, I'll add a group under the group we just viewed in the previous request. First, I start by duplicating the previous API request. I change the name to Add a New Group. I switch the HTTP verb to post. I check back in the API reference and find the request for adding a group. I see this request requires a post and the use of the group ID and a message body. I'll verify the URL so that it has the proper formatting for adding a group. I click on the body tab and make sure JSON is selected. I now need to proceed to the message area and type the JSON expected for this request. Taking a look at the payload for the message body in the API reference, I can see that there are three values. Two are optional with name being mandatory. I'll go ahead and insert these into the message body in the proper JSON format. In the JSON, I specify the name of the new group and whether it will inherit the policy settings from the parent group. In this example, 
I'll choose inherits equals false. I'll add a description even though it is not necessary. I'll send the request. I receive the expected 201 created response. I verify that this new group exists by running our original get groups request. I search for the name of the group, which I named the village. I now confirm that the group was successfully created. That covers adding a new group. The next API request is the delete group command. I'll go back to the last request response and copy the ID of the newly created group. First, I copy the previous request and give it a new name, delete a group. I change the HTTP verb to a delete. I edit the group ID in the Postman Step 14 environment to the new group ID. I do a bit of cleaning of the request and then I send the request. I receive the expected 204 no content response. I verify that the group no longer exists by resending the get groups request and searching for the string village. Confirmed, the group is no longer there. In review, I showed how to get a list of all groups, how to get details on a specific group, and how to add a new group and delete a group. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, like it. Of course, Here you Co is available to help you or your company with innovative cybersecurity advisory service for corporate and personal digital defense. The company name says it all. I'm here for you.